everyone, this is Fernanda, bassist and singer from death metal band Crypta, and you're watching Duke TV. I was already in my previous band Nervosa when we decided that we wanted to try something else, you know, to have like a side thing so we could have like a different outlet to try other ideas and, and in a different genre so we could, you know, like exercise our creativity and stuff like that. At that time, I mean, we were pretty focused on Nervosa still. But our relationship was strained already and we felt it would be cool and maybe helpful for our own Bane environment to have another side thing. And, and I always say that Crypta was and still is like a, a blank page where I could, you know, like write anything and create anything and do anything and ended up being as uh, my new favorite thing. <laughs> I can definitely say the pandemic kind of helped my tough decision for leaving Nervosa because when pandemic came, I knew there would be a while without, you know, like activity, not this long. <laughs> and I thought, okay, so maybe it's the time that I can live in a decent way that it's good for everyone. And so I did that. So it, it kind of helped me in a sense. We just took the chance to write an album like calmly so in this sense it helped but of course like if we had the chance to be meeting more often and mainly if we had the chance to be playing shows it would have been way easier for us as a band but but we kept it going Napalm is literally like top five best things that happened in my life. Napalm Records, it's definitely one of them. They've been really supportive. They, they are extremely professional. They made sure our name was out there. It was so beneficial because, you know, like we were now, like I, I actually didn't know what to expect. Of course, you know, like the video clips went really well and you know, like all our fans on, on social media and all, you know, like the feedback we've been having, it, it was great, but I was curious, how is it gonna be, you know, like in all these polls, like end of the year's polls and everything. And we were there, you know, like in most of them and people saying so much cool stuff about the album. It's been just great, honestly. us girls know how it feels to see another woman on stage or see another woman just living their dream. I'm pretty proud of, of being in an all-girl band. Nothing against you guys. I love you all. Thank you for your support. Uh, the more girls you have out there living the dreams, the more girls will feel comfortable about living their dreams too. And this happens in every scenario in society and it happens in the metal scene too. I want to be there, uh, not only to prove myself I can live my dream, but also to show other girls like, come on, you can do it too. Do whatever you want, you can do it. Bye bye, Sao Paulo. Are you ready to fly? No. <laughs> I'm surviving. <laughs> I love traveling, I love meeting new people and getting uh, to know like other cultures and everything. Whenever I'm in the city and there's stuff to see around, I'm just like, I nearly walk the whole city. So whenever I, I get in a new place, I just di try to dive in, in into their culture and you know, like just be immersed in the cities and everything.
There's lots of shows confirmed already and our plans cover lots of territory. So basically we've got everything planned till like half 2023. <laughs> I'll see you all on the road by the merch table and we'll be hugging and talking and having fun. I can't wait to have fun with you guys. Damn, I miss that. <laughs>